Okay, folks, we are back, and we have a surprise matchup here. Chloe versus Annette. Uh, Josh and Stefan will be playing for the money, but we really wanted to get Annette on stream. She's such a favorite in the online community, brings such a vibrancy to this game. We still want to see Chloe try and get that rating back. Uh, we will have updates on the Josh and Stefan game as we can. And I've been told we might have a surprise guest show up into the booth. So stay tuned for a very exciting game and lots to see. Annette's drawing first. You can see her uh, nail polish very clearly. It's her. Um, maybe something like hum here. Jo uh, Joey, are you there? I'm in there. Let's see. So hum for 16, leaving any RT or thrum. Yeah, thrum. For 26. That's so typically yeah. I would make the hum kind of plays because yeah, like... thrum, thrum doesn't score that much and you can extend it. I think it's a verb. Right. I like it as a verb. Uh, yeah. Uh, I would play it's not a bad play, but I wouldn't right. do the other one. No, I agree. And I, I think we maybe have a somewhat similar style. I like to play sort of short there, control the board a bit, and just you it's you're in such a strong position leaving rent going forward, right? Um For sure. But Chloe's drawn into Towered. If she was able to go first, this would be such a powerful rack. Uh, going second here, uh, unfortunately for her, it doesn't look like Towered will fit. Is there something else I'm not seeing? Uh, I don't see anything else. No. Look, look, it looks like she's going to be reduced to playing something like Woe. Yeah. I don't see uh, any double-doubles out Drew, no. I guess, but probably not. Uh, mm, yeah, Woe isn't bad. It leaves R-E-D-T, which is at least pretty nicely balanced, but you know that she's going to take some time on this turn because she's going to have to look through the T, the w, the H, the R, the U. Uh, they all have some sort of potential to have an eight, so she's going to have to really take her time. I don't see her making a play in the next minute or two, let's say. Yeah, luckily for Chloe, Annette doesn't have much, so she's not going to lose too much pace, even if she whiffs next turn also. Uh, well, if Woe comes down, I believe... Peony would fit right beneath it, right? And that would score really well because the P and the Y would both uh, yeah, get so. Um, so we're trying to play two turns ahead here. Um, looks like she's setting up Wo a Woad. No, that wouldn't work. Uh, so I think we're going to see Wo and then Peony. Let's see how my predictive skills work in this one. Now we know that Annette is not somebody who alphabetizes her rack. No. She just loves uh, to ride. She she does, yeah, exactly. She doesn't really study the same way other players do. Um, she does do some online studying, but not as much as most. Really, she just plays more games than almost anyone I know. Um, she plays two full days a week at club in Vegas, and they play all day. Uh, she's always playing games, and then she goes online and plays all night. She is obsessed, and she's going to see this very quickly. No surprise. Uh, you know, English isn't her first language. She might even not know that this is a flower, but she knows the word for Scrabble, and she's going to score big with it. Absolutely. Very nice play right there. Beautiful. And then Chloe has Cat, which is going to come down. So I think we're going to be able to predict these plays. Sometimes in a high-level Scrabble, uh, the plays can seem pretty obvious until you get to a turn where all of a sudden you're not sure which direction someone might go. Um, you know, she does have a U to play through, but I don't see anything that would fit. So I think if not, and even if it did, I think she just has to play Cat here. Yeah, I think that'll come down pretty quickly. That pesky, right. pesky Q always causing problems. You know, it's pesky, but she's going to score like, you know, over 30. So it's not so pesky for her here. She's going to score more than her average. So she'll be happy this time to draw the Q. Um, Definitely could it, be worse. Right. Uh, there was glare. For a second, I thought that I was a blank, but it is an I. It goes nicely with the NG, but it doesn't quite going to form bingos with the BP, which aren't bingo tiles, but she can underlap QAT for a nice score. And Chloe has picked up the blank with some junk, so she's not bingoing next turn, but unless she right. gets an I floated for dividers, but right, that is a um, good tile. You know, you could see... Annette playing something like Begin beneath Cat, which could float an E. Would she have a bingo in that? Uh, Let's see. Um, 
is hmm. oh yeah deserved deserved yeah 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 okay. so so there is possibilities chloe will get her bingo down um begin would be nice because it could get rid of the g uh but she could play brin if i'm a net something. i might oh, just play gip hey. yeah that's a better leave right um they just do classic staircasing right uh i've seen some epic staircases in this tournament not necessarily at division one she's now looking at prig i hope she doesn't think pag is a word i really don't think she would think that but i don't know where she thinks she's setting up these words that she's forming on the left side of her rack yeah I, yeah she'll i think she's gonna play gip here that would be my guess yeah uh yeah i think gip or uh grip okay that's that's fine too i mean i'd want to keep the r there and not put the g in space just because an r is a nice tile it'll go nicely with the leave and now that she's floated the g you know you could give up some bingos there but at the same time she scores two more points it's not necessarily two points worse positionally so i'm totally fine with this play definitely not like it, it's a I, problem. I agree. yeah yeah i agree it's a bit worse i would play uh Jip, like you probably said, but I, I don't think this is a problem at all. Um, there is something to be said about making it difficult for yourself next turn because, right. you know, the board is basically already crushed. Right. So at least now if Chloe plays on one side, Annette should be able to play on the other side. Um, but Annette just drew four vowels. So we hate to see that. Um, why can't the vowels and consonants come out in a more equitable order? Um, <laughs> But that's Scrabble for you. There's luck involved. And right now, the luck's more in Chloe's favor. Having drawn that key blank, well, Annette drew four vowels. This is a kind of crummy rack here. She really doesn't have much. I think right. I might just play D-U-D for five because... Right. Because your bingo percentage... looking great next turn. High. Right. Um, Getting rid can... of the S and the E is just not worth it. You know, there's no right. really reason Good. to do that. Uh, thrums word or if she draws an a she could form words with qis and papa right and those would score pretty nicely um indeed so there is something to be said for blocking thrum later but yeah exactly just, I, this gives that x hook and a lot of other obviously right. other tiles too can hook that right. e so it's and if just you get up to the double word score you know that could really hurt um and that doesn't have the tiles for that uh she might play and a lot of the time if, she, if she, uh, she comes back and makes a five or six overlapping right. devs you know then chloe's not going to have a comeback exactly. bingo because her s and e are gone right but you know if she floats tiles up higher there would be stuff to play through the v stops her from being able to overlap too well so there is some merit and it scores nicely so i don't think it's necessarily terrible but i I would have been more fishy with you too. When you have the blank, you want to stay a bit closer to the bingo. Um, so she sort of drew a mid rack, Chloe, right? Like it's balanced, but it's not necessarily initially obvious what her bingos might be. So we'll see if she can find one, but let's stay on a Nets rack. It is her turn. Um, she's got too many vowels. Does she want to exchange? Does she want to try and play through this? What's your first instinct? Yeah, that was a pretty Disgusting draw. I guess Terrible. beige for 22 looks pretty good. All right. Yeah, I said binge, but uh, you don't want to waste that end. That's obviously a, a big improvement on my idea. Um, yeah, and Collins, I, I would not do either of these plays because ZE is now good. So oh. it's just like, ugh. Yeah, I hate uh, ZE or ZE, as I'll call it here in Montreal, because it just makes the game uh, like it doesn't allow the better player necessarily to win when you have these very cheap sort of easy 60 point scoring plays it, it just sort of allows anyone to win i'd rather see someone win over their own creativity instead of just like a simple little play but that's a totally different conversation she's gonna play inia so she leaves bee -E. you know she gets off three of the vowels still scores obstructs some of those lanes that she just opened making one lane that's a bit harder to hit so i think this is a pretty nice idea here by annette yeah, I like that the board is going to be very destroyed if there's right. an overlap there with the ID and all that. But that being said, it's pretty easy to give her points there. 
by making yeah, to the that. Left. And, um, right. If Annette had more of a lead, maybe it makes a little more sense, I guess. But right. maybe she just didn't see beige. Yeah, she might have just missed it. Um, maybe you she don't see does. Beige, that's probably the best play. Right, and she does play a bit more defensively than some players, I think. So she, she maybe she looks at beige and it's opening up more scoring spots and stuff on both sides of the board. She didn't like her tiles too much. Um, this will give stuff back. Chloe, I'm seeing now bird dog would be a fun word. I don't think it fits, but um, when you have the blank, you got to keep looking because if she doesn't have the blank, she's very uh, the bingo. She's very close. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything here that plays that pesky G. Yeah, but at there's least already... she can play something like Bog. That will be yeah. a job that will score. Bob, Bob is better, yeah, and she's gonna play it. Um, and like it doesn't telegraph to Annette that she is the blank, which I think works out really well for her because Annette's not going to necessarily look to be blocking here. And then Chloe should have a, an easier time getting a bingo down on a board that's not necessarily so good for bingos. Yeah, I was um, thinking earlier, does DEVS, does that play telegraph a blank? If you're uh, thinking from Annette, no. it might. But maybe not. I, I, don't I know. think sometimes it could telegraph that she has one vowel, right? And she has a V. And she, I think you probably have a second S there a lot. And, you know, this time she had a blank, not an S. Um, but often I think she might be leaving like three consonants, like W, L, N or something, right? I, I guess then she'd play Velds. But like, you know, some sort of tiles like that. That would be my first thought. Um, yeah, I guess a blank well, wasn't super likely, but. It's no, easy when and we also, you were saying. Devs probably wasn't necessarily the right play. So when you're making inferences, sometimes you're making inferences expecting the person made the ideal play, and maybe he or she didn't. So we're making a read into a rack that, you know, she probably should have just fished a bit more. Um, again, I'm saying that, like, I'm not even sure necessarily we're right, but that is the way both of us would have probably lent. So um, here... Annette is probably going to play a G and bide. It does right. get back to that, that lane, but her options aren't great. Oh, okay. She's going to do it there. Sorry. Yeah, that makes more sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. That has Duh. to be the play. Um, she also saw Jebel as a word. It didn't have a spot, so this is good. She leaves B-E-L. The board's still not great for Binguine, which works in her favor looking at Chloe's rack. Uh, does Chloe have anything here? The G looks like basically the only real lane she can play my god for right yeah 26 that and could a, be a the super best, weird uh, the spelling best in that word with the awd sort of ending um right but yeah she'll probably just end up playing draw well, on the bottom right yeah i think draw also also when you have the blank like that's the time you want to be opening the triple triple lane although the w there with leaving mi blank you know, it doesn't really play too often unless maybe a miss word. Um, but I don't think, who, so it's Chloe's turn. I think Chloe would be more likely than Annette to find my god, perhaps. But I think draw just makes a lot of sense here. And I Yeah, think, no, that's, she's we'll see. that. Yeah. Um, okay, so Annette draws like, you know, trebles. Uh, so uh, if... It won't quite fit... No, it's one spot short, um, which is unfortunate. But again, we're not sure what she's going to play. If she does play, my God, then trebles fits to the left of it, right? So bingos are possible here. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. I think in Chloe's rack, Miss Draw is the only seven. Yep. Or... Well, it's the only one I saw. Okay. Um, I, I haven't looked up if there's others. You know, she set up Ma now. I guess she could play it above uh, G, trying to set up, but then, you know, that would set up a back N. Is there another spot she might play this? Because otherwise, I'm not sure why she would play this over something like draw. Um, yeah, I'm not sure on that one either. Yeah, I wouldn't, pl I wouldn't make this Ma play. It just seems too easy to get hit with a big score. And look at, you know, at holding trebles for example, it would just, she would get punished with this. So in that case, she would play belters, right? Right. Yeah. The B would double. Yeah. The B would just hit. So, um, 
Oh, she plays yeah, Maude she... there. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't feel like she was playing the other one. No, I, I didn't see this Ma spot, which is, I, I knew she couldn't make the other one. It didn't make any sense. This one makes a lot more sense, you know, because she leaves balance. She's really trying not to telegraph this blank, it seems like. Um, okay, she drew well, like uh, di diverges, I guess. Um, yeah. Maybe, some, maybe something to ION, uh, the ON of Gob and Inia. Uh, not sure. But Annette's going to be frustrated that no lane quite open. You know, Yaw takes an L, so it's, it's looking almost like her play fits, but doesn't quite. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think it's just versioned for the nine. Okay, yeah. But yeah, so that's I don't want to suggest Sony's. Um, you know, through the GI, is there something I need to give or give her or something like that? Probably not. Aggrieved almost. Uh, you know, so she'll be looking for nines as well. You know, for style points as much as for being the best play. Um, if Annette doesn't take out that G, we're almost certainly going to see a bingo. But I don't really see how she's going to make a play through that G. Yeah, this is uh, a annoying rack for sure. Like she could play blessed beneath Ma, right? Forming Ab. Oh and wait Yol. a second. Wait a second. Sorry. Yeah, she has reblessed. Isn't that good? Oh, reblessed. No, wait, 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 wait. Belters, that... trebles. No, no, I'm thinking of unblessed. Right. Or am I? I, like, don't, I don't or, know. Or reflets, for example, or like there's stuff that sounds like that. You made me think for a second, but it, it didn't look quite right. And now you're confirming it's not. Um, she could. So she, she has reblets on her rack. I think she's going to play Reb uh, just right beneath. Uh, she doesn't want to break up the nice tiles to play blessed. Um, Annette and I played a lot of hand and brain this weekend. For people who don't know what that is, uh, one player calls out the first tile uh, that would start the word. So you might call it an R, so you, and then the second player has to play a word that starts with that letter, and you play two on two. And so we were on the same page for a lot of these decisions. So I think I got a really good read on how she likes to play things. And she's the sort of player who really doesn't like to break up bingo uh, prone leaves. So I think she's going to try and keep something like rest on her rack. Or less, perhaps. Yeah, here, honestly, I might go with Blitz. It kind of scores a lot. Yeah. Yeah, like, I, that's what I had seen first, that Bless thing. You know, you're breaking up the rack, but RE is great to leave. And you're not really giving much back, because it's so sort of uh, contained where you're playing it there. Like, it does open up a bingo lane ending in seven, but it would be a very marginal lane where the bingos wouldn't score much. And it would give you back points underneath as uh, a response. So even though you don't necessarily want to break up the rack, I think sometimes it is the right decision. And even if it's not the way she wants to necessarily play it, I would like to see her make a play like this, just because it scores so nicely and still leaves pretty strong. So you cannot bless again. You can only bless once? Once, yeah. And oh, uh-oh. No, nope, uh, Chloe will oh. not accept that. Yeah, she had put that on a rack a couple of times, and I wish she hadn't because there is no chance that's still on the board. I don't even think we're going to see a hold. I think that's coming right off. I'd be surprised. It was a valiant Annette, effort. Yeah, I'd be surprised if Annette if even has time to draw provisional tiles. I think it'll be challenged even quicker than that. The phone's out. This is not lasting. Uh, yeah, that is not a word. So I agree with the effort. If she if she had thoughts about it, you know, it scores so much, she has to try it. Maybe try and put Chloe on the spot, but it's just too high prob. Chloe, like I said, knows those high prob words down pat. That was never going to fly. So unfortunately for Annette, we're going to see this one come off the board. Um, so I think she'll just play diverged with a D as a blank? Oh, right. I kept saying diverges, but obviously... It, because she has the blank. You don't want to put that S there. The D's are more defensive, harder to form words with. Plus, also remember, she now knows and that's full of rack, so she has to go through and see if doubles plus an S or a D in that position can uh, give a bingo. I don't see it. 
in that early position really mattering um, or really leading to something this turn. So I think she was going to stay for uh, Verge. Um, in the chat, Dadge City was saying that he or she would like to keep rest, so maybe play Bell. That was definitely one of the plays that we would have been happy with. Um, the phony, unfortunately, really cost her and is going to break this game open. But uh, Bell or Blet or Blet, those are pretty much the same play. Would both have a uh, pretty good, a uh, pretty equal sort of result, I think. I guess Bletz is a bit better than Blessed, I suggested, just because of where that S versus T would be. If you put the S in the fourth position, you would be able to form words between the E and the S uh, for a lot of points, and you'd be able to go two directions, so M's or anything like that. Um, yeah, sorry about the noise on the mic. I don't. I think that might be Joey's mic. We're going to get that cleaned up. Uh, yeah, that's over now. I was trying to get the thing out of the thing. And the thing is now out of the thing, and we are back to the action. I, Chloe hasn't um, played Diverged yet. Maybe she hasn't found it. Um, I, Possible. I think it, it could be a miss. She's such a strong word finder. I, I have faith she's going to find it, but it's not a guarantee. Uh, you know, as sevens, she would have words like revised or whatever. But uh, now, okay, she's set up her tiles... Dever, uh, I think she might be thinking of diversion. To the oh, okay. Uh, Can we get a is, check on that on the knock? Yeah. Someone, uh, do that. Diversion, uh, like sort of like a reversion. Uh, diversion. I don't like it. No, uh, there's two in that nine. Uh, endorsive and version, but there is no right. D version. Uh, so I did look at the top thousand nines at one point, but I can't right. say I'm solid on them, clearly. Yeah, I think when you're thinking of a word like that, you would think about how diverse isn't a word, right? Uh, like, not that it can't take an ION form without having the shorter form, but I think that's sort of a clue as to why it's less likely to be valid. Um, so unfortunately for Chloe, who's normally so strong and pretty consistent, she's Seems to be struggling with a um, bingo through the G here that's well within her range. But that's okay. She still has time. Uh, she's gone back into the alphagram mode. Maybe uh, she'll. She wants to really mentally picture that G between the E and the I, right? And. And if she does that, she'll see it as a, an actual seven. And then she could just, you know, extend that thought into some form of divert. But uh, if she doesn't see it, she'll still be in a decent position. One thing she's also considering, oh, maybe one of her thoughts about not playing diverge is she knows she's giving trebles back, right? I don't know why I didn't think to uh, mention this before. Like diversion, where it would be played, I don't think would give that back because the V would block the overlaps, right? So maybe yeah. she has, maybe she has seen diverged, but she's so like, well, I don't want a bingo if I'm just going to give a bingo right back, right? And now it comes down. Uh, sometimes you just have to bingo knowing you're getting bingoed back on, especially because this bingo plays nicely with the V doubling and the D doubling. So she gets both of her high point tiles uh, to really do some work for her. Right. Um, so, excuse me, Chloe, I apologize for having doubted you. I, I'm now thinking that she probably saw that all along and uh, goes to show you that Chloe, as we said, is such a strong word finder and finds her bingo very uh, importantly here. And I think Annette should be able to find trebles. Um, Belters doesn't fit, so we'll need her to find trebles in this case. I think she can find it. Oh, and I'm now seeing Jason just realized Divergence gave back trebles. So um, thank you, Jason. Good comment. I did come up with that before reading your comment. I don't know how early you posted that, but always appreciate people helping us out. We are definitely not perfect. Um, making mistakes here as we go. There comes trebles. So bingo. I finally bang. opened up the uh, my laptop and... Yeah, I'm going off basically one, one 
major screen here. I had the comments on a different screen, but I've also been checking back to the standings on that second computer that I'm using here. So the second computer was not open to the comment page. I am now back. Uh, I did see that earlier comment from Dad City. If anyone else is still in this chat, please send us a comment. Let us know what you think of the stream, the play, uh, anything you want to know. Uh, if you're looking to come play any tournaments, we have the big one coming up in Albany in July, the World Cup, and we'd love to see you there. Also, do we know for a fact that the blank is a D? We do not. Um, Josh Greenway, if you're listening, we would love to find that out. Oh, wow, Annette has drawn a pretty nice rack. I don't see... Uh, okay, so in, she, she would have a tender... In, in Dentor, in... No, it's just in Dentor, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's just in Dentor. I only like in Dentor, so... Um, with the B, I don't see it. With the extra E, I don't see it. Um, so let's see what they made that blank at the bottom. It's overwhelmingly likely that it's a D, but I didn't want to straight up yeah. assume. Right, the R isn't good. The S wouldn't make sense, like... We're going to just go on the assumption it's a D until proven otherwise or until we get confirmation from our trusty producer. Um, thank you to Noah for the... It is a D. Thank you, Josh. Um, uh, thank you also to Noah for the score updates with Annette leading by just one. So that's why um, Annette... Uh, Chloe really had to take her time because the power of trebles being weird back really undid a lot of the strength of her own bingo. Um, so yeah, we're looking at a rack here with a couple of duplicates. What would be your thought here? Yeah, I, I keep close. looking at the board and yeah. I haven't come up with anything great, to be honest. Right. Um, I haven't either. She's going to want to get rid of a duplicate A and T if she can. The O is always fine to go. Where can those tiles go without breaking up too much would be my question. A play like Moat, M-O-A-T, is, you know... Yeah, something, standard. but it doesn't look right. that inspiring either. Right, exactly. Um, but she can it, play octant for twenty-two, which doesn't give up back that much. But a word I was unable to unscramble uh, with a blank in the car ride with Morris on the way to the Montreal tournament here. So a bit embarrassed about that one, but happy to share it with you folks here. Uh, I hope you know that. You can get pretty high in Scrabble and still be making some very basic mistakes. It it really allows everybody to feel like they can make it to the top. Um, oh, I, I like this suggestion from Justin in the chat. Um, the blanks should be with a whiteboard surface so you can write on top of them like with a dry erase sort of marker or something. Uh, that would be interesting. Yeah, that um, would alleviate some of the... Rare exactly. occasions in which someone gets misdesignated and loses a turn. Right. Uh, and I did that recently. not during a tournament, but in a casual game last night, I did form OB by mistake. And that wasn't Collins' confusion. I don't play Collins. I just forgot what the blank was, and it was a B. I was not really paying enough attention, being late at night. And yeah, so that would be fun to see it written out like that. I've also heard a suggestion last night of a variant where the blank could score the points that the tile would be worth. So the blank D would be worth two points, even though it's a blank. Um, and I want to welcome a very special guest into the booth, uh, none other than former 2100 player and the winner of the last Word Cup. We hope to see you at the next one in Albany. It is Jackson Smiley. Say hello, Jackson. Hey, very much a former. Former, yeah. I started off with a bit of a backhand compliment, but I'm going to follow that up by asking Jackson what he would do in this position. It is Chloe's turn. It is a one-point game. Wow. Um, do we have like a pool? Uh, we or, don't. Uh, uh, Jason Lee has been nice. posting the pools. It's a bit more than a few okay. still. She's going to play cat. Um, Joey had maybe suggested moat. We're looking at attic maybe for the team. If it's just a one-point difference, there's no reason to go attic. A-T-T-I-C? There's no I. Oh, she doesn't have an I. I'm blind. Okay, well, <laughs> that's why he's the former 2100, folks. Uh, <laughs> I'm blind. 
That's okay. Uh, there's a bit of glare on the screen. Uh, it's better than it was. Jax this is here for the better portion of the stream. I hope you had a nice day at work, Jackson. And while you're in the booth, we're going to continue to put you on the spot. Annette also has a difficult rack where she's close, but not quite there. I mean, she can do something like Nano, just be really aggressive. Yeah. Uh, her lead will work pretty well with the closures that are open, the T and the O. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so Mano is a really aggressive option. It's pretty good. I, um, I like it. I like not breaking up the rack too much because she is pretty close. Yeah, but um, I'm wondering if there's a way to do uh, something next to trebles that just scores a bit more. Right. Like rain, R-E-I-N would work. Yeah, that would be a nice overlap. Um, I've got to say, these kind of positions with all one-pointers and no bingo, where you're trying right. to like, make a tactical play, these are like my least favorite positions. It, it is tough. There is one two-point tile, tile, so it makes it a bit easier because you can score a touch. Um, you don't really want to play long, something like De Niro on the left of DE. It would just give back way too much to the bottom left. Jackson was suggesting, I don't know if you can hear, Joey, the Mano idea, which so far looks like... I can like hear. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, so far, it looks like the best idea that I've seen. Uh, rain, like he said, also makes sense. I'm not really seeing much else. Um, yeah, yeah Mano is good enough for me. Yeah, good enough for you. If it's good enough <laughs> for you, it's good enough for all of us. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Uh, and uh, uh, so he Joey can't hear me, though, right? Yeah, he can't hear you, so um, if you say anything inappropriate, I'll just translate it a lot smoother. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so, you know, she wants an, a U for unironed. You know, like, she's so close to so much. If the T was over, like we said, it could be indent or... Um, There's no reason to be too aggressive here. No. You shouldn't you take crazy risks? Like, you could obviously fork the board for the T or something. Right. I still see why to do that. I wouldn't do it either. Um, Denton would do that. There's no point. No, like, because what you're giving up above to the right after Denton is just too easy. Um, a lot of the big tiles have sort of gone, but the X and the Z are still unseen. There's still a blank out there. I'm counting only two S's played. So, like, you know, Chloe's rack would be a lot better than it actually is. Um, so I'd like to see her because I see the N out going to the left. Look at that. Such a strong player. I think Mano is coming down. Yeah. I think especially if she Love doesn't it. want to get into an in-game position, Nano, you right. go for the bingo and you just comfortably get it. Right. I can see the value there. And Green that, is a much more kind of grinded out play. Right. And that's such a good point because, like, as good of a player as Annette is, uh, she's not quite in Chloe's league when it comes to end games. So I like Jackson's thought process that she should be looking to either win with a bingo or not quite pull it out. And also, it only scores, what, about four or five points fewer? So, and look at that draw. That looks like a nice draw. Uh, read lean. It does draw. Yeah. It does draw read lean. Uh, anything else? Because I don't think plays in the top left stay open too often. And in fact, read lean will not. It goes for a bounce. It looks like a solid play. Yeah. I don't know how many tiles in the bag. I don't know if it's completely leaving there, but um, absolutely fine. And I can see Chloe, I don't know how many tiles are left, but. She may have commuted that if a net plays down to the beam of bound, that might empty the bag. And so it right. might make a bound a bit safer than it looks at first, because it, it could give back a 30 point play. But right. Safe for the best. Very good analysis. You always want to be counting how many are left in the bag. Uh, we were explaining that last night to our newer player, who uh, Stefan, who's playing his first tournament and has already managed to win his first game. So he already has an initial rating well. Uh, more than the uh, the expected of 500 for a new player. And we see Brian Garnett with a huge rating gain uh, in Division B. So uh, Chloe did draw a couple eyes. Annette has this rack that doesn't quite fit. I hope she won't try a phony through the O. We already saw one phony. And oh, yeah, yeah Reblets, R-E-B-L-E-T-S. Mm, I've said in many a time. Uh, Jackson, we just want you to stand a bit closer yeah, yeah, yeah. to the mic. I've typed in reblets instead of Belfu's trebles a number of times. Right. Um, um, what's interesting here with Annette, if she holds on to the G, 
she has this cool setup that could come in handy of GIS off of the is. Oh, to reason. set up her E. Right now, there's not the close right. to another E, so she can't do that yet. But this is the kind of thing where maybe if you're thinking of that, you keep your E and your G in case Polly plays the last E. Suddenly, you can play GIS, set up a huge lane. Okay, so I'm counting, I believe, nine E's on the board, and there's probably still one E in the bag. Uh, I might have counted improperly, yeah. So, but it's definitely the sort of thing you want to be considering, how many are in the bag, and those those case tiles, as we call them, the last tile in the bag, it gives you a power. It's, it's like when you're playing with some sort of a card game, and a certain card might allow you to do something that other cards can't, right? Like... Uh, this card allows you to steal something or whatever. So you want to think of individual tiles of having different powers. Uh, the blank can sort of undo that because it could replicate a tile. But the E, the GIS setting up, EGIS, is the sort of creative play you might need to steal a game and the sort of play that only a former 2100 player could come up with. <laughs> yeah, only <laughs> former, not even former. Current. No, current players, you know, they would be coming up with something way better than that. Um, <laughs> I, I, uh, the reason I, I introduced Jackson like that is I was speaking about how, you know, Joey recently went over 2100 and I went over 2000 and that all got started because we were talking about how Chloe was trying so hard to get to 1900 this tournament. It didn't quite happen. We saw Steph and her father pull out one on stream over her. Uh, so that was a big win for just him. Just by six, right? Yeah, just by six. He managed to find his win in the end game. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, Dan Blake had found it in the chat first, and then Stefan found it, and it was just too many points for Chloe to come up with. It was one of those end games where she got stuck with all one pointers. He got the FCK. It scored too much. Uh, it was too close, and he pulled it out. Huh. So now, from an S perspective, he kind of has to go in one of two directions here. Right. She can choose to either just try to outscore or, or fish. She can try to bingo in. Yeah. That Owen man was going to really come in handy because if she does, her best fish right now is probably fishing the D. Right, uh, because that will hit the uh, the eye draw, and there's a lot of eyes from her perspective still to play. Right, I'll hit the eye with religion, and religion like wrong, um, and, and retiling, retiling at the top. So right, fishing the D could just hit a bunch, but then you might just go full swing the other direction into grind. Grind, yeah. So you can either grind, grind it out, <laughs> yeah, that fit really well. Uh, if she's hoping for an eye, the problem, of course, is that there are three of them on Chloe's rack. Yeah. So from her perspective, it looks like there's going to be a lot of eyes in the back. But actually, um, I think there's only going to be one in the bag. So it's still possible, but definitely a bit less likely. But the E would also hit Eloiner. Uh, is it going to hit anything through the T or the R? I don't think no, so. Just yeah. And so, so edging. OK, ledging. That makes yeah, that way makes better sense. than edging. If she played edging, I would have been really upset. Unless it set up the L. <laughs> Uh, it could set up the L if that was the only hook in the bag. That's yeah. why when we were talking about how certain tiles have certain powers, um, we don't have the tracking in front of us. Jason has been posting in the chat sometimes. Let's see if he's been updating that. I keep switching tabs. Uh, Jason might have stepped away. Uh, Justin Tang mentioned that dropping the D could have given something like resoling. That's true. You didn't yeah. necessarily have to fish the L, uh, so resoling would have been singular. So tinglers would have also fit. So she For could sure, have, yeah. she could have fished that way as well. Um, it looks like yeah. Chloe's going to be reduced to playing Tiki for eighteen. Nice. Plays four tiles, scores pretty well. Yeah. The only worry from my perspective is, you know, she's keeping the eye, and she sees like four eyes are still out. And little does she know she's not actually going to draw this on right. the spot. But uh, I think I would have preferred to keep an E there. Just yeah. To kind of balance that. I agree, and I, I don't like playing so long if the pool is not so attractive, right? If you're seeing four eyes so late in the game, that's when you typically want to play shorter. Um, Joey, I know you can't hear this, Jackson, was mentioning Tiki as a potential uh, for 18. Uh, we could share headphones if you want to. Yeah, Jackson doesn't want my saying. ear cooties, and he already knows how Joey thinks. Uh, Jason says there's 26 unseen tiles, and legend is not a word. Wow, we didn't even flinch. <laughs> How is legend is ledged Ledge. a word as an adjective? I would Ledge think so. Because uh, yeah, we have gelding and niggle. Right. Um, so ridging would have been a much better play for a few reasons. Although I don't think this was even held. Like I didn't see any provisionals. Yeah. And look at that tile on a net's rack. Why is there no letter on it? 
<laughs> I, someone at the Toronto club <laughs> once, it was her first time playing. Yeah. I looked at her phone and she's like, what, is this a joker? What is this? <laughs> Uh, I tried to use some mind games in a casual game against Morris. You don't want to do these things in tournaments because it's it's coffee house and it's not really allowed. But he has these tiles where the blank is a Batman sing, uh, symbol, and that's because he played at the Bat tournament in Boston. Mm, right. And so I didn't have the blank on my rack, but I thought to say, oh, I think it's so cool how the blanks have the bat on the on the blank. And he's like laughing that I just made this mistake to show him. That I had the blank, but really I was just in his head, and oh, it, it worked to my favor. I didn't have the blank. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so I was just playing mind games. Again, people don't do this in tournaments. It's like against the rules, but in casual Ooh. games, nice draw by Chloe. Draw. Yeah, awesome. but does anything fit? I don't think. I don't think anything fits. So as well as the balance the draw is, it's not quite fitting. So she didn't go with Tiki. She played uh, Kier. More defensive, I think. Uh, Joey was suggesting Tiki here, I believe, at the I mean, that from would the have tee. Had a massive bingo of airfoil. Yeah, airfoil. So I think she made the right call by going that. Again, in a close game like this, especially on a board that's pretty bereft of scoring spots like this, giving something like that back can just be devastating, especially you know blank out. Right. It's not the sort of play I'd want, but you know, legend's not a word, but fledging is certainly a word. So true. Annette can take a lot of points just with something like Fan or Fino. Again, uh, knowing the exact number of tiles would affect my decision making here, but I think Fino is looking like a really good play. Yeah, it's hard to imagine that not being the play. Right. Here's um, something that's interesting. What if well, unless there's some Chloe sort of... plays Isotene and Legends and forces Annette to have to challenge it? Would no. she maybe let it go? Yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, Joey's saying Chloe might try Isotene and Legends. Um, yeah. Because Geldings is a word. Right, geldings is a word, and because legends just makes so much sense as a word, right? Like, I'd have a hard time challenging that. It's a ledge, legend, ceiling, ceilings. Um, so we could see a play like that come, but if she plays fledging, like I suggest, and she does have the FI to the side, I don't know why she's not going to play the O as well. She played, might play if, setting up the R, which is a pretty cool idea. Oh, that's true, yeah. Is the R like a case R? Are there Gs? The G's are gone. The R's look like they might be gone too. Three, four, five. There might be one the R. Are gone as well. The D's are gone and the G's are gone. So there might be one R and C. So she's going to play Phil. That's. She may have not seen fledging, may not want to be too. She might not know fledging. Remember, fledging. it's not her exactly. first language, uh, English, and that she's Norwegian. I don't know so... what fledging means either, for what it's worth. Like full fledged. Yeah, Jared, uh, Scandinavian people, I mean. It... Saying it's their second language isn't really equivalent to like other foreigners. Of course, of course, Norwegian <laughs> people speak excellent English, and that like barely has an accent at this point. But you know, she she does have certain words that I expect her to know, and she doesn't. Last night in hand and brain, Joss was suggesting typified from a Y in the second position to a D, and she was spending too long to find it because she didn't know the word. Um, you know, she knew typical, and she knew that some words take that sort of form. Um, so fledging, typified, sort of maybe a same level of English proficiency. Um, I think she might have played Phil in that spot also because she knows who's the blank and she, she could have a lot of power making a bingo. Um, oh, he's got ICT set up. I, I think it's coming down. And, I wouldn't be surprised. And if Annette doesn't have a bingo back, she might just positionally have to challenge, except because she has the X in the blank, she might... Uh, opt not to challenge, knowing she can score at the X and thinking she can bingo on a later turn, but the bingo lanes are going to dry up, so this would be a play she'd really have to challenge. I'm wondering what her last pile is. She's close to Uxorius on the, on the bottom. Uh, she's not going to know Uxorius, I'm thinking. She might. Uh, she could. Um, the thing is, uh, Chloe is running out of time to play this word, because if right. you're all unsure of legends, you better slap that down. That's true. I think she's already passed sort yeah, of the does, time. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> we will see. Maybe Annette will think she was looking for... Oh, just Biddy. So she's pushing. She doesn't go for the phony. I would have liked to see the aggression, but... She's setting up another She phony sets up... No, 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 no. Yeah, that one takes an S. Don't show Josh. He'll, he'll roast me for that. Um, Josh, how did your last game go? Did you really take down really? Tef no. Stefan? No. I need two things to go my way now. I need Chloe to lose by not a million points, and I need Stefan to lose. So Stefan's winning. Wait, who'd you play? Uh, just played Spargo. So yeah. David Spargo takes down Josh. Um, we will see who wins this tournament. It is close.
goodbye to Dave. He is leaving. Does she have the retina? We're not sure what uh, her child is. Oh, though. she has retina or fainter. But she's going to play Stainer. That makes more sense. She wants to take out the hook she just made. The F will be a lot harder uh, for Annette to hit. Let's see what Annette draws. Ooh, another vowel. Two more vowels. What's that first tile? Uh, Josh Greenway, if you can hear us, can she push her tiles a bit to the right? Um, she could have Fru Friulano if uh, she has an L or an N. Faye Tours. Uh, there's a lot that she could have, but we really need to know that last tile. Um, yeah, it's a bit hard to do commentary with six of the seven tiles. Um, but it's another A. Okay, that's going to hurt. Um, she could play AIS, though, setting up yeah, her R. She needs something like that. Before. I would love to see her find that. Um, if you had a score update, that would be great. It's yeah. probably up around 60 right now. Uh, the last update we have was... I think she'll be up about... Uh, 49? A 345 to 296. So she's up 49. That's a perfect score for an app to play something like AIS. Perfect, yeah. Because if she yeah. bingoes, it's going to score a lot, making yeah. a raise or from the F, and so she, she would probably win. Yeah. Um, how many are left in the bag again, right? Like, there's so much to know. Uh, I uh, The A is a bit off to the side of the rest of her tiles. Do you think that means she's maybe thinking to fish, or am I, I just I reading? I, I think it's a, it's a fairly easy idea, but it's also an easy one to overlook. Um, uh, you know, like, so we had liked Fledging and Finn because it scored so much more, but that F up there is really helping keeping her chances alive, mm -hmm. right? Because if it wasn't, then Chloe could probably just block the A's to raise hook and feel pretty comfortable because the O bingos are going to be harder to hit and not score as much. Exactly. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know how she'd even deal with that right now. Um, yeah, so Joey, I want to bring you back in. If, if, Annette were to make a fish like AIS here, how do you think Chloe would maybe respond? Um, okay, instead, Auk is going to come down on the top left. So it leaves her more balanced, but the problem is it lets Chloe block at the top where the powerful bingos will come. She actually has a pretty cool word blocking from the F. A fly foot? Phil fought. Phil fought. Okay. I knew it was something like that. Um, um, this is her test. She, she does, she has seen the word. Okay, and look at that draw from Annette. Ovarial will play at the bottom. Oh, wow. That's yeah. Killer. Floatier or ovarial. So Annette has bingos in both spots. Um, uh, it's going to be close, folks. We don't know how many are in the bag. The word you wanted, oh, I thought Chloe was setting it up, and she sees ovarial, um, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think floatier should be an even easier find. I'm sure. Maybe she expects Chloe to block the F. I think Chloe challenged Glodier. I have challenged that before. Um, I thankfully didn't play Glodier against Chloe. I saw it. I knew it wasn't good, and I knew that it was going to come off, which she confirmed after the game. Chloe can score a lot with Fly under a G. Um, I don't know, but that's not going to... If it were to empty the bag or something, for example, it wouldn't be enough. Let's see what she does here. We really need to know how many are in the bag. If Jason Lee is still there, he's been giving us these very helpful updates. Because the problem with Phil Fought is that Phil Fought could maybe lose to a bingo downstairs. Okay, so I like how he calls it downstairs. That's how I'm going to start referring to the bottom of the board. Um, she plays Felty. I think that probably means that she, there were maybe five in the bag by her playing four and blocking. That would make sense. Um, let's see. She has a pretty the H and the, uh -oh. the Z. Yeah, it's pretty is clear. she not getting another tile? Because if she emptied, it's it's game set match. Look how many points she's holding. Yeah. I think Annette might have just won this game. Um, so should Chloe, if there was only three in the bag, maybe she should have played off two. Just try to outrun. Yeah, and even if you get hit with a bingo, like just play something like of. Yeah. Uh, Next to Stainer, score some points. Uh, you know, she's going to take the free challenge, but that means it was over. And that's going to steal this.